Hey guys, it's Monet and we're here to do the week three recap. Okay guys, so I'm here on my lunch break and I just wanted to show you guys what I'm having for lunch really quickly. Today I have creamy rigatoni with broccoli and chicken and you can kind of see that there. Uh, this is what it looks like on the box. This is what it really looks like. Um, yeah, I also forgot to go to the store on yesterday, so this is all I have because I didn't go and get any vegetables like I was supposed to to go with my lunch. So, yeah, we shall see how this goes. I see that it's probably going to be a long day, but this is what I have, so I'm going to go with it, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, it is day 16 of my Weight Watchers journey. Just wanted to show you guys really quickly what I'm eating today. For breakfast, I had some weight control oatmeal and a banana and my cup of coffee, the normal that I have every morning. I'm a creature of habit. For lunch today, I am having three cheese ziti marinara. And this is what it looks like on the box. This is a nine point lunch. So I think this is kind of high try to stick around in between uh six to eight so nine is kind of high this is what it looks like in the container and uh, yes i just wanted to show you guys that and i'm gonna go ahead and eat okay guys i just wanted to show this quick little snack that i found i got it at Publix, and it's the bu buffalo style chicken breast dip this is a one pound container or 16 ounces and it's five dollars and 20 cents which i think is kind of pricey for this size container but i did get this on sale um, Publix had it on sale for buy one get one free so i was able to get two of these for the five dollars and 20 cents or two dollars and 60 cents a piece so it's a really good deal it's a really good snack and most importantly if you're on weight watchers it's only one point for two tablespoons which if you're looking for a quick little in-between snack in between meals this would be a great snack um, you can eat it with some vegetables um, like some celery something like that or in a wrap a lettuce wrap or if you want to um, spring for some crackers you can do that as well for those of you not on Weight Watchers it is 50 calories for the two tablespoons so I just wanted to show you guys that and the serving size and how many points it was um, I definitely will buy this again in the future although I will wait for it to go on sale what I ate on last week for lunch I did the um, smart ones which are the Weight Watchers brand uh, microwave meals yeah they were not very filling so I do recommend if you're going to use the smart ones meals that you um, bring something to accompany it like a small side salad some vegetables or something to go along with it just because for me personally they were not very filling on their own so exercise wise last week I did get in six days of exercise on last week that was five days at the gym and one day where I just exercised at the house um, I did um, some videos off of YouTube I'm very excited about that because this is the first week that I actually got more than four days of exercise in and that really was a goal for me to get at least five days because I have been struggling to get my exercise days in. For dinner last week, I had the spaghetti squash meal, which I posted in my day 14 video. I went over how to cook it and how many points the meal was and everything. So for this week, I'm going to continue on, I think, with the Smart Ones lunches. However, I've just modified to make sure that I am going to be filled at the end of the lunches. Okay, now for the real reason that we want to watch the week three recap. It's weigh-in day, yay! Okay, 
yeah that was my special effects okay so um on last week i weighed in and i had only lost like 0.3 ounces on last week started off at 274.9 which i just kind of rounded to 275 I weighed in this morning and I am 270.9. So that brings my total weight loss thus far to four pounds. So I'm very excited about that because this is the first week that I've actually saw a significant uh, move in the scale and it just gives me motivation to continue on, to keep doing what I'm doing and to keep eating healthy. Again, it's not all about the scale, it's about the lifestyle change, but again, we do want to you know, it gives you a certain motivation when you do see that scale moving. So I'm glad that I actually saw a significant movement in the scale on this week. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I have for lunch today since you're already recording. I have the Salisbury Steak Smart Ones meal. And it looks like this. That's what it looks like on the box. And this is seven smart points okay now I'll show you what it actually looks like which is nothing like it looks on the box it actually does not look all that tasty there's like no gravy on here I, yeah I, I'm not very excited about tasting that but I did bring a side of broccoli so that I would not end up in the situation that I was in on last week where I was still hungry after I finished lunch so guys it's been a good week if you haven't already check out my video that i posted let's make a meal which i did the um chicken and shrimp jambalaya it's a great recipe and it's only five smart points so if you haven't already make sure you check out that recipe i'm gonna start doing those that let's make a meal um videos um, throughout this process just to show you guys what I'm eating I'm gonna have that for dinner this week so it goes ahead and show you what I'm having and what I'm um, how I made it so you guys let me know if you like those videos make sure you comment watch subscribe below see you guys